Hi guys, today I'm going to show you an awesome new tool built into Photoshop that allows you to colour grade your photos. And I'm going to start right now. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So just before we get started, I just wanted to say you're going to need Photoshop 2021 to actually use this new effect. Now, if you don't have this already downloaded, make sure to get it updated before you follow along with this tutorial. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Right guys, so before I go ahead and start editing a photo, I want to show you how this effect actually works. Now it implements the color grading effect within a particular gradient. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a gradient from pure black to pure white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up a photo or open up a gradient that I've already made. Now to open up and you actually use this effect, it's actually built into the camera raw filter. So make sure you've got your particular photo selected. And then we're gonna go up to filter and then I'm going to go to and select the camera raw filter. Now, when it opened up in the camera raw filter, again, this has been uh, newly updated with Photoshop 2021. You can see on the right hand side panel here, you can see there is a new panel called color grading. So I'm going to go ahead and click on color grading. And as you can see, three color wheels pop up. You've got a color wheel for the midtones at the top, and then you've got a color aid for the shadows, and you've also got a color wheel for the highlights. And you can actually select each independent color grading one style, but the top here, so you've got shadows, so that's your color wheel for the shadows, again with your hue, saturation, and luminance slider, and you've got exactly the same for the midtones, and you've also got the highlights. So you can select each one independently, or you can create a global effect by going to the three-way style. Now, because we've got a, uh, a basically a gradient from black to white, I can actually show you how the colors fall and adapt by using this gradient. So what I'll do with the shadows, I'm gonna add in a blue color. Now, as you can see, that blue has fallen near the shadows. Now it's not affecting the complete blacks and it's only affecting the shadows. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my midtones and let's say we're going to add in a green and then I'm gonna to go to my highlights. I'm gonna go and let's say and add a red. So as you can see, each of the colors have fallen into where it would fall within a photo. So you can see how this particular effect would work if you applied it to a photo. Now, obviously it's not affecting the either complete white and it's not affecting the complete blacks. So the way to do that is just simply change the luminance of whatever area you'd like to select. So let's say we've got our highlight selected and we want the reds to be all the way to the whites. All you need to do is take that luminance slider over to the left. And as you can see, all of that red now is affecting all of the highlights all the way to the very pure whites. And again, you can see that in the affected areas by looking at your histogram in the top right hand corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel this and I'm gonna go ahead and open, open up a photo to actually show you this in how it would work. So we're gonna go ahead and open up photo one and I've got this great photo here. So again, we want to open up the camera raw filter, but I wanna show you the before and after. So the way to do that is go ahead and press Command J. What that'll do is that'll duplicate that photo. And then I'm gonna go ahead and right click on that. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it up in, and we'll change it to a smart filter. The reason I've done this is because it will remember what we've done and we can actually revert back any changes so it doesn't end up burning it into the photo. Uh, the reason for this is it's a good way of working non-destructively. So when we've done that, we're gonna go up to filter. I'm gonna to go to the camera raw filter. And again, because we opened it up previously, we've got our color grading icon already open. Now with this particular style, I want to create maybe more of a purple color in the shadows and maybe more of an orangey red color in the highlights. And again, usually I would use a gradient map, but now I'm actually going to use the color grading tool built into the camera raw filter to achieve the same effect just a lot quicker. So in our shadows, I'm going to create more of a purple color. So I'm gonna to to take that and I'm gonna take that over to where the purples are. So I'm gonna go for something like that. Now again, if you want to change these colors even further, we can go ahead and open it up in the shadow area and we've got our hue, saturation and luminance sliders all built into there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my highlights and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, but instead of choosing purple, I'm going to choose yellow. So I'm gonna take the yellow slider and I'm gonna move it like so. Now, 
Obviously, it's changed the photo and it's made it a little bit too dark. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna again, remember, take that luminance slider and I'm gonna, instead of taking it over to the right, I'm gonna take it over to the left. So if I take it to the left, you can see what it will do is it will start affecting all of the highlights and whites of the photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and start changing it and start manipulating it until you are happy with the result. So I'm gonna go for something like this. Now again, I'm gonna go back to my shadows and instead I'm going to take the luminance over to the right. And again, this will start changing the photo into how I would like it to look. And again, you can change your hue either by dragging it around using this particular wheel here, or you can actually use the hue where you can whip it around all the way. So you depending on how you like working, depending on how it will work. So, and then you've got this little eyedropper here, and what it'll do is you would click it, it will show you the before and after the effect, which is really nice to see. So I'm gonna actually reduce the saturation ever so slightly, and I'm also going to reduce the luminance slightly. Lovely. And again, if you wanna see the before and after as you're working, you can just click that little eye button, and that'll do the before, and that will do the after. So I'm now gonna actually affect the midtones, and I'm gonna add in red to the midtones just ever so slightly. So I'm gonna go for an effect that looks similar to this. Lovely. So we can go back to our full global adjustment and you can see we have changed each one of these color wheels and it's created this really cool effect. Now traditionally I would have to use the gradient map and there's a lot of fiddling and choosing what colors would work and there's no way of immediately knowing how the colors are going to work with the gradient map. But with this new tool, it is so much easier. So if we go ahead and just go ahead and confirm, so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. What it'll do is it will revert back into the main Photoshop. We can actually now see the before and after. So we go ahead and turn the before off. And we go ahead and turn after. You can see it's created this really nice effect. And again, you can do it with all types of photos and you can do it with all types of colors. And I find it is a lot easier of working out how the colors are going to work or how the colors are going to change by using a gradient. And there we go, guys. Brilliant. And there we go, guys. So that's how you can color grade your photos using the brand new effect built into the camera raw feature. And again, you can always use a black to white gradient to actually see how this particular effect manipulates the colors within the shadows, midtones, and highlights. It makes it a lot easier to understand how this effect works. Again, guys, if you want to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, it really does help my channel grow. Also, if you wanna hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest content. But until next time, guys, keep creating.